Hello and welcome to this Functional Skills ICT Level 2 video. Uh, this one's going to be all around mail merge. I do already have a mail merge uh, video uh, that you can go by, but this one's just going to be a bit more specific to mail merge um, and a bit more straight to the point. So the other one was uh, involving quite a bit of Microsoft Word stuff, um, which we're not going to cover today. And um, we're going to start off with just sort of like the basic stuff, uh, which is going to be demonstrated through this question that we have on the screen uh, from the City and Guild Sample 1 mock exam uh, for Level 2, which you can find on the City and Guild's website. Um, but I'm also going to move on to something else, which is creating or using mail merge in creating labels, like sticky labels for envelopes and stuff. Uh, um, now, I'd say that's quite a bit more advanced than this basic stuff that I'm showing you now. Um, but it's something that keeps cropping up in, in exams, so it's quite um, important, really, I would say, that you um, certainly concentrate on the sticky labels um, section at the end of the video, because it will certainly help you uh, with your exams, hopefully. Um, so we'll start off with this particular question just to go through the basics uh, so I'll just read the question out so the head teacher needs to send an information slip to go to parents download the files you've been given she wants the slips to go to the parents whose children are helping on the 12th of June only produce the unmerged slip slowing, uh, showing all the merge fields and paste a screenshot of this into the evidence document that's been provided uh, produce the merged slips only for the parents whose children are helping out on the 12th of June and then paste a screenshot of each of the merge slips into the evidence document uh, and then upload everything once uh, completed. So with this particular video I'm not going to go through the sort of file organization and how to properly download all of your files and I'm not going to go through the screenshots. You can see that on all of the other tutorial videos that I've got. Uh, this is purely going to be just about the mail merge. So um, first of all so I'm not going to download the evidence document or anything like that, but first of all, we just need to get the uh, relevant information. So uh, that is the one we'll click on first. And you'll see that it appears in a browser window rather than actually properly downloading something. So you'll see across the top here, it says name, open date, teacher, room. And then on the row below, it says uh, Keir Hughes, 15th of June, Mr. Kinsler and the hall so that all corresponds to the headings above so if you sort of imagine this in a like a spreadsheet table um, the headings would be these across the top and the, and they're separated into the separate columns by these commas that are in between each one so if you were to import all, to, all of this data into a spreadsheet it would be those would be your headers and then all the relevant things will go underneath them um, just to give you a bit of an understanding as to what's on here. So first thing we need to do first is just to copy what's on there. And we need to create a, a text document uh, for us to put it into. Uh, so you just right click on your desktop and go for new and then text document. Uh, I'm not going to give it a specific name just because it's a quick example. Um, but you would perhaps give it, call it information or something like that. So then I'm going to paste that information into the text document. It's all there now. So I can save that and I'm going to close it because we don't really need it anymore after that. Uh, next bit we're going to do then is, I'll close that as well, look at the actual information slip. So with this particular example, it, again it opens it up just in um, a browser window. Sometimes it would download a proper Word document for you to use. In this instance, it doesn't, um, so we need to copy and paste it into a Word document. So here's one I opened up earlier. Um, I paste, copy and paste it into the into the document there. Let me change the view because it's a bit uh, a bit far out. So there's the uh, information. I might zoom in a little bit more. Uh, there we go a bit easier to see so this is the information slip this will be something that will be going out to the parents as described in the question so um, your child name has been selected to help out the school open date on open date 
Your child will be required to wear full school, school uniform and arrive at the school no later than 8.45. Name will be helping teacher in room. So uh, these where they're in sort of capitals, um, that's an indication of that's where we're going to put merge fields. Um, so these are called markers, basically. Um, those will all correspond to the information that's in the um, like that information we put in the text document. So if you remember, it sort of went name, uh, open date, teacher and room in the columns across the top. So those all correspond. So basically what we're going to be doing is importing that data into the mail merge uh, slip. The first thing we need to do is to actually import the data into Word. So uh, because we're doing mail merge, we need mailings. As you can see at the minute, a load of these um, options at the top, they're all grayed out. And that's purely because there's no data to work from. And you'll see those will change in a minute. So we'll import the data to start off with. So you see at the top here, it says um, select recipients. Click on that and then select use existing list. And then it's just a case of finding your file. It should be on the desktop and it was a new text document or whatever you decided to call it. And you'll see now uh, a lot of these have all sort of opened up and changed. So more importantly, this one here, insert merge field. So if I click on the little arrow um, next to field, that will open up just a little drop down menu. And these are all the options for the merge fields. Uh, and that's taken directly from that data. So wherever it says name, once we've done the mail merge, it will re replace it with someone's name. And then open date will be replaced with a date. Teacher will be replaced with the teacher's name and, and room will be changed. Uh, uh, change to whatever room they're doing their activities in. Uh, so first thing we need to do then is just highlight all of these ones that are marked. So have all the words that's in capital. So just highlight name first. And we need to change that by going up to insert merge field and then selecting name. You'll see that's changed. So that's now changed to an actual merge field. So that will, um, once we've completed the merge, will uh, change to someone's name. So just a case of just repeating that process through the whole document. Uh, we'll go for teacher and then we've got room. So once you've done all that, generally in the question it would ask you to do a screenshot of that now and paste it into the evidence document. I'm not going to do that. Um, what I'm going to do is just to show you that it's worked is to click on well, not it's not worked fully just yet, but we'll click on preview results. And as you can see, it's changed the person's name, put a date in, uh, put the name in again, uh, put the teacher's name and put where it's going to be happening. So this is going to be going through, as you can see, these are changing as and when I uh, click on the forward button. Um, it's going to go through all of these. As you can see, there's loads of different dates. Looks as though there's 17 people uh, in that list, so quite a few. What we actually want to do now is just to um, sort of filter it, just so that it only shows those who are going to be attending the activity on the 12th of June, 2011. Um, so what we have to do is to go on Edit Recipient List. So when you clicked on edit recipient list, this is where this is a list of all of your information. So as you can see, open dates, all the different dates in there as well. So uh, next bit is a bit like with Excel and spreadsheets where you've got your filter arrows. You can click on the filter for open date and it'll bring down this little drop, drop menu and it's got a list of the different dates here. Just select the 12th of June and that's only selecting the people who will be doing the activity on the 12th of June now. So just press OK. And you'll see we cycle through all the individual letters again. So you've got uh, Isla White. Right, this bit nice there. Uh, on the 12th of June. Then you've got Jordan Taylor on the 12th of June. Uh, Sheila Salhan uh, on the 12th of June. And so on and so on. So that's all five people. All five letters, they're all on the 12th of June. There's no others selected because we've done the filter. So that would be the question complete for that particular task. All you have to do now uh, would be to take a screenshot of each individual letter and 
paste it into your evidence document. If we just have a look back at the question, the double check everything. So uh, produce the unmerged slip, which we did, and make sure that it's only for the parents whose children are attending on the 12th of June, which we've done. So it's actually quite straightforward mail merge. Um, literally just a case of importing your data and then replacing the words with the um, merge fields. Um, that's generally it. So, so it's quite straightforward. I mean, when I first um, heard about having to do this, because uh, I was a bit um, worried, I suppose, because I've never come across it. But once I've practiced it a couple of times and um, and what have you, I've, you know, it is quite easy. So, I mean, I know they always say everything's easy when you know how, but I think this is really quite straightforward. Um, okay, so the next bit we're going to do then is to look at, as I've already mentioned, the more sort of advanced stuff. Um, and it's something that keeps cropping up on um, exams recently, which is put them into labels, mail merging something into labels. So what I'm going to do is just start a new document. Um, I'm just going to show you a file that I've got, which is just a list of made up addresses uh, so it's a title last name first name address address to and postcode um, so the aim is to get all of those names and addresses onto some labels so if you're working in an office and you want you've got a load of generic letters you want to send out to loads of customers um, you just do this mail merge with the letter uh, labels and then you can just print them off and stick the labels to the letters so um to start off with then you go on the mailings and with this one you just need to go on um start mail merge a little bit different than last last time so you go and start mail merge and you'll see labels is on there don't use this thing on the side here labels on this uh main tool menu because it doesn't work <laughs> <laughs> basically um, it, I think it kind of does something a bit different to what we're doing now but you go on um, start mail merge and you'll go down to labels and click on that and it should open up a little window like so um, and what basically what this is doing is selecting um, type of label that you want to use now I always think it's best just to use this one in label vendors just use Microsoft um, if you click on there it'll have a list of all these different types and all of them will have their own different types of labels these are basically like um, label companies that, that you can actually buy your labels from um, so if your office in particular has ace labels and one of their particular type of um, label for example here what the 187 series um, you can automatically set your printer up so that uh, or set your document up so it knows that that's the um, label that you're working with and it'll print it all off correctly basically um, however for this uh, sort of example and probably for your exams as well I would always use Microsoft and just go down for business card so in here just find business card because it's um, probably the best size one that I've found now there's quite a few different business card ones as you can see you want the top one which is European size business card so just press OK uh, and that will set everything up accordingly now at the minute it doesn't look as though there's actually anything on the screen uh, there is and you'll see you'll see that um, we've imported the data so I mean it's, there's a, there was a little bit of an indication there that there's something there that's appeared on the screen a um, little box next to the cursor um, so we'll import the data so same as we've done before um, so select recipients use existing list find your file on your desktop and import it and you'll see it's now done that so it's automatically added this new record new record new record and these are in like the templates for your labels the first one's blank so that's going to be your, your first entry and then it's automatically going to move on to your next one and so on and so on so this is where we need to put the merge fields in which you would do exactly the same as you did before so insert merge field so we'll put title uh, put space in 
and then we'll put first name, space, last name, press enter to go into the new line, put address one, enter again, address two, enter again, and postcode. Okay, and at this point, um, this is where you can do any sort of editing to the font sizes and stuff as you normally would. So I'm going to make that one bold, make the, the actual name and might have you a little bit bigger. Uh, I might put it in italics as well. So that's going to be your sort of template for your labels, if you like. Now, you don't have to then replicate that all across there manually. What you can do, if you just click back on the mailings tab, you'll see there's there, it says uh, update labels. And just click on that. And as you can see, it's done it all for you. Now, um, don't be concerned that that next record thing is still there. Uh, you do need that though, it won't show up on your label, it just, it's just there to indicate that it's going to move on to your next record in the, in the list of people's names and addresses. And that's pretty much all you need to do. So if you came across this in an exam, you might, as you did with the last task, you might have to take a screenshot of this, the unmerged um, labels. And then... Um, if you could click on preview results again, you'll see now we've got Sherlock Holmes at the top there at 221 uh, Baker Street, London. We've got Amir Khan, we've got Jeff Stell in there. Uh, we've got, uh, well, so we've got this famous Janet Jackson. And we've got Jackie Charlton as opposed to Jack Charlton. <laughs> uh, but it's put all their um, names and addresses in uh, for all those people. So, um, <clears throat> what you will find as well, I mean, if you notice from the last task, we then sort of cycled through these where it says next record. And you'll notice that they are changing. I'll explain what's happening to, with those in a minute. Uh, basically, the, the preview thing is not taking into account that all of the next records are already um, added on to the existing page. So what it's doing is it's starting off with that one on, on uh, record one. And then when you move to record two, it's getting rid of Sherlock Holmes and it's moving Amir Carr then. And it's moving everyone else up. So there's a gap there at the bottom now. So if I move on to number three, Ashley will turn up in the, uh, at the start. And one more has disappeared. So it's just sort of like working its way through the list. Now when you're actually, um, if you were to finish the mail merge properly in, in real life and print it all off it would literally just print this one page it wouldn't print off all 11 pages as it is here it just do that first one it's just um just the way mail merge works reason um so once you do actually finish it it'll just realize that you've done everything correctly and it'll all be done so I'll just show you an example, actually. I mean, th this is literally all you would need to do for the task, I would assume. You probably have to take a screenshot of this page again. So you could just go on to, if you change the view, click on one page there. It shows you the whole lot. So you could do the screenshot if you wanted to. Um, let's go back to mailings. If I go and finish and merge, I'll show you what it look, would look like um, once it's done. So if I put edit individual documents, uh, just select all and just as you can see it's just on one page once it's actually been done I know that little message came up saying page 11 is an empty document but it's kind of discarded all the other pages anyway and it's just using page one there um, and that's it that's all you need to do with it so again once you know how it's fairly straightforward so it's just a case of keep practicing and um, you should be able to hopefully if you get this question in, in your exam or this similar sort of question in your exam um, you should hopefully be able to do it so thank you very much for watching i hope it's been helpful and useful